In 2002, Billy Bean and the Oakland A's changed baseball forever, putting a ton of what was at the time foreign analytics to use in order to win without the resources that other big market teams had. The A's went on to win 20 games in a row at one point that season, and despite losing some of their best players, won over 100 games and made the postseason, but only to lose in the first round to the Minnesota Twins. Despite the early playoff exit, teams started to become way more enriched in analytics and it has impacted baseball in a big way. As far as them losing to the Twins in the first round that year, well, that's pretty ironic, considering the Twins may be the next Moneyball team. In 2021, the Minnesota Twins were really bad. They won just 73 games, finished in last place in the AL Central, and the team that had made the postseason in two straight seasons leading up to 2021 missed out. If you were a Twins fan, there wasn't necessarily that much to look forward to, as there simply wasn't anything promising about this Twins team. And with that, general manager Thad Levine and the Twins front office went to work, making a ton of moves. He'd go out and trade their catcher Mitch Garver to Texas for Isaiah Kiner Falefa and a pitcher, only to then flip Falefa along with Josh Donaldson to the Yankees for Gary Sanchez and Gio Urshela. It was a shocking trade, but perhaps the most shocking thing to come from the Twins had yet to happen. They'd go on a trade for Sonny Gray to help the rotation, and then went out and got the big gun, Carlos Correa. This shocked a ton of people, understandably so. Typically, a last place team doesn't go out and get a big name, big money free agent, but the Twins had a plan, doing all of these trades beforehand which led to the Correa signing. Although Correa and the other players certainly made them better, exactly how much better? They only won 73 games in 2021. Could it get that much better to the point where the postseason is an option? So far? Yeah, the Twins have started off really good in 2022, and their pitching is a big reason why. Joe Ryan, someone who's in just his second year, has been really solid. Dylan Bundy's been eating up innings. Chris Archer has actually been pretty good. Sonny Gray has been fantastic. Bailey Ober has been solid. And overall, it's just starting rotation filled with guys getting the job done and giving the offense a chance to win night in and night out. And the bullpen has been nasty as well. 38-year-old Joe Smith is still doing his thing and has been almost too good to be true. Emilio Pagan has been good. And then you have youngster Yoan Duran, someone who throws 103 miles an hour with movement. He's basically must see TV whenever he's on the mound. So the pitching has been great to start the year, but as far as the offense, not quite as great, but obviously good enough to win as many games as they have been winning. But there's more to it than that. And that's why the question of if the 2022 Twins are the next Moneyball team is being brought up. Shout out to baseball writer Zach Kreiser who actually came up with everything I'm about to talk about regarding the Twins offense. It's really interesting, and something that most of us would likely never notice or think about, but it's a pretty big deal when you look at it. To put it simply before we start going more in depth, the Twins are taking ball one a lot, or at least a lot more than the rest of the league. Pitchers are getting a first pitch strike against the 2022 Twins lineup only 56.1% of the time. To put that into context, the league average of around 60% has been that way for the last decade, and in 2022, the league average for first pitch strikes is 60.9%. The Twins are of course number one with their 56.1%, and the second best team in this category is more than two percentage points behind. This may seem pretty insignificant to the average person, but trust me when I say this, it isn't. It's a huge deal and such a big reason why the Twins offense is quietly getting the job done. In 2022, according to the Park Adjusted WRC Plus metric, MLB hitters who start an at-bat down 0-1 produce results 33% worse than a league average hitter. To compare starting out the plate appearance 1-0, the result is 31% better than the league average hitter. Now let's put some more context into this. So far in 2022, if the pitch throws a first pitch strike, hitters are hitting 211 with a 580 OPS when hitters are hitting 251 with a 789 OPS when the pitcher throws a first pitch ball. That is light years better. Now, this isn't that crazy of news. Naturally, if you start behind in the count, you're going to probably get out and have a much greater chance of getting a hit or on base if you start out in front in the count. It's not necessarily rocket science, but it's the fact that the Twins are getting it done. Hitters have started to swing at the first pitch more often in baseball, considering it would typically be a fastball over the plate by the pitcher to get ahead in the count. With pitchers realizing this, they have started to throw more breaking and soft stuff on the first pitch, and for the first time in baseball history, fastballs are 
are making up less than 60% of opening pitches in 2022. Twins hitters are getting the first pitches outside the zone, according to StatCast, 51.2% of the time. No other team is seeing more than half of their first pitches outside the zone, and no team has seen this many first pitches out of the zone since 2010. The Twins' first pitch swing rate is down over 3 percentage points from 2021, and after being in the top 10 for taking swings that same year, they are in the bottom 5 for taking swings in 2022. MLB's list of players who get ahead in counts the most have Luisa Raz, Jorge Polanco, and Byron Buxton all in the top five. Luisa Raz has virtually no power, but has been the best on base guy in all of baseball this year. So the Twins are in a really good spot right now. Their pitching has been great, and despite not necessarily having the loudest offense in baseball, they're getting it done in a way that many people don't really think about. Time will tell if pitchers start to catch on to what the Twins are doing. But overall, they have a plan up there and it's clearly working. The Twins are currently in first place in the AL Central. Could that change? Absolutely. But early on, the Minnesota Twins are looking like they could be an interesting threat in the American League. And this is coming from a team that finished in last place the year prior. The new Moneyball, perhaps? Let me know what you make of all of this and thank you for watching.